Deja vu. We're back up in Great Langdale and I'm heading up to Side Pike again. I was up there in the last video and I realised it's probably a walk that my mum would like. So I brought the parents up. So we should get some soft light over on Great Langdale this time. We've got some blue sky, but we'll head up and see what we can see. Hey, bud. Bud. You've done that one? Yeah, Pike will be score. That's where we took Fleck. <laughs> yeah. That's why he was tired. We're about halfway up now, and this is the view that I wanted to get at Great Langdale, and we're getting some of the light on the top. I've run ahead, and I'm gonna get the camera set up, get a few photos of the landscape on its own, and then we'll probably get a family photo on that, but my parents should be with me soon, so we have a few minutes. You alright stand on the edge? I think I've got all the shots that I came up for, so it's going to be just a little short video. We're going to stay up here and probably watch the sunset because it's going to go down behind Bowfell there and behind Crinkle Crags. We've done a similar thing from on top of this one here, that's Pike of Blisco. I'll show you the views actually. So in the last video I started down here, then we walked around Blee Tarn, and today you can see Weatherham up there, you can see Pike of Blisco there, Crinkle Crags, Bowfell, that's Sick Feist in England, and then you got Great Langdale, um, I always get the names mixed up, but Stickle Tarn is there, my mum's there, my dad's there, and that's the top of Side Pike. But like I said before, the, the view is pretty similar, so I don't think we're going to gain anything by doing that. So, yeah, we're going to stay here and watch the sunset. But if you want to see more videos of this, in the last video we went up there and right along that horizon. So I'll link that down below. But if we get any more photos tonight, I'll put them on to the end of the video. Or I might do a blog post over on adamcapper.co.uk. And I'll see you next time. I was looking up there, I didn't realise I'd walked all the way up there. Yeah, you walked straight in front of you. The big one, you went the big one. No wonder I cried. You went around the back, and then you come down this dark, so that dark gully. Uh, that's where I cried. You cried on the back of the high behind. I cried there, on that gully going up. No, high behind that. You, you, you cried behind it. Is there another one? Behind that big one on the right. That big one in front of you. There was like a big big ravine like this thing in front of us. Isn't that that's it there? No, ah. you can't see where we went up. No, you can't see where you, you went round the back of that. And up. The footpath goes round the back of it, doesn't it? Yeah, it was like a big gully like one of these things. It was like rocky. And then then you cried. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha